Hello, uh, my name is Charlie Ganabra. Uh, I've got uh, three uh, experts here. I'm going to share this uh, vaccine story about um, COVID-19 because a lot of people are worried in the community. And well, my concern is that um, uh, um, we've got this border will be open and it's going to be a bit risky in, you know, in, in, in NT. So I would like to introduce you to a, a colleague here who came and to share that story so I can get a, a right story so I can able to um, pass that message to you know, we, we all family, you know, people. Thanks, Charlie. My name's Dr Jane Davis. I'm the co-director of infectious diseases at Royal Darwin Hospital. And you're quite right, the border rules are changing and um, relaxing significantly. People are moving around. Um, and so we are really worried about people who have not had the vaccine yet. We need everyone to get vaccinated. And we've got Charlie King with us as well. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Jane. How are you going? Charlie, hello. How are you? Nice to be here to talk about this really important thing, you know. Let's talk about it. This is such an important issue. So I had uh, two doses of vaccine uh, in my community, and uh, I, feel, I feel really good, but there's, uh, there's a bit of uh, family worries. You know, I think, I think we need to make a family, so indigenous people, to understand that you're going to have that first um, vaccine and then second vaccine, because it's very important to just to get an update and to cover you. Because, you know, we're talking about, you're going to travel a lot, funeral and ceremony. Because it's a, you know, we've got to meet a lot of family there and that we never met them. So this is something very important. You've got to pass that message to all the, all the family, strong message. So I worry, Charlie, about when big groups get together um, and people aren't vaccinated, like at the football, for instance, like the COVID doesn't choose who it spreads to, it, it'll, it goes to anyone. If you're playing, you're a player in football or you're in the crowd watching the football, you still might get this COVID-19 if you're not vaccinated. So Jane, why is it important to get the vaccine? I mean, what, what, what are we worried mostly about here? So we're most worried about people dying. We want to stop people dying. And so if you've had the two needles, then you're protected. And even if you get COVID-19, you won't get very sick and you won't need to go to hospital. You won't need intensive care and you won't die. So you still might get it, but it will just be very sm a very small illness. It won't be too bad. Whereas if you haven't had the vaccine, then there's a significant chance that it will be um, it will be much worse. Who can get this vaccine? So now pretty much everyone can get this vaccine. And what about the, the children? Yep, so children can get the vaccine mm. now. Yep. Jane, um, what's my concern is that um, I'm a bit worried about, um, I know we've got, we've got a lot, lot of kids under 16 that had that vaccine. But about five and twelve, but that that worries me because uh, uh, many uh, um, family wouldn't 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 let uh, kids getting the vaccine. Because it's, it's it's a big worry for me too, you know, because because you know we're gonna run it the right way, you know, yeah. what the policy says, you know, you do the right thing, not 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 just giving out vaccines straight away, you know. We need to get more, more advice from the, from experts because I believe that uh, the family worried. I think. Um, our kids need to be able that vaccine because, uh, you know, yeah. they worry about their the, the, the future. Yeah. You know, I think so it's very important. Well, if the family have that vaccine, well, why not, you know? So, so what happened was because the children are, are not as mm. likely to get very sick, mm. so the adults were were the first people to get the vaccine because they were the ones who were most likely to get very sick. But now that they um, now we're moving to children getting the vaccine as well and we know that the vaccine is safe and it works for children um, but the researchers and the scientists around the world they looked at the vaccine for adults first and then they looked at it for children so that's why it took a little bit more time for children to be uh, offered the vaccine yeah and you're right i mean everyone should get the vaccine don't be afraid of getting the vaccine, be afraid of not 
getting the vaccine. That's the that's the worry mm. for yeah. all of us. We need to protect ourselves mm -hmm. against that COVID-19. Mm. And, and all yeah. family members must get vaccinated, you know. Mm. You can't have just the adults and then the younger ones don't get it and the older ones don't get it. Everybody's got to get it to feel safe and be safe. Mm. Charlie, look, what you're saying is that that's true because, you know, we've got future children, you know. Let's, let, let's, let's make, make this journey, you know, safe for, for all of us because I'm worried we're going to lose many of our leaders and elders culture, family, because we're dealing with life and death here. Charlie, in some places around Australia, they already have COVID uh, there that's killing people. I mean, people have died in some of the Aboriginal communities. That's the worry, isn't it? Mm. Yes, yes, it is. And the ones that died, they were the ones who hadn't had the vaccination. So, mm. yeah, we, we can see what has happened in other places. We don't want that to happen here. At home, we've got a, a crowded house, you know, we got one, one, one house and we got about eight or twelve or ten family living in that house. Mm. If one person gets it, and it's just going to spread. It will, it will just make all that family sick. The whole so house this, will get whole it. Whole family. Yeah. And this is yeah. something that, you know, something we're going to do the right thing mm. to save our family. And very important to have that vaccine shot. First one and then second one, three weeks time, and then we'll wait for booster. So yeah, it's a really good question, mm. Charlie, because those mm. 12 people in that household that you're talking about, they will all get it. So if one person mm. gets it in the house, so it's really important mm. that they all get the vaccine. Mm -hmm. So if there's pregnant ladies in there, if there's children in that house, if mm. there's people with medical conditions, they all need to get the vaccine and then the whole mm. house is protected. Um, and the vaccine, it's just a needle, like all the other needles that we have for all mm. other different different things so um, you know it's safe it works it's effective um, and it, it really teaches mm. your body to how to uh, fight COVID-19 mm. so that when COVID-19 comes to that house everybody in that house their bodies know how to fight the COVID-19 mm. and so they won't get sick. So Charlie I have two um, doses already so I'm feeling that's a good thing. I've had two doses as well, and I'm going to have my third dose. How many doses should people get of the vaccine? So you need to get two doses to start off with. Um, you get your first dose, you wait three weeks, and then you get a second dose. Um, however, we now have um, the ability to have a third dose after six months, and we're calling that a booster dose. So you get two doses to start off with, then wait six months, and then you get a third dose. So three all together now. So there's three important things here. One, get, get the first vaccine, get the second vaccine, and Jane, the booster. Explain the booster to, to people, please. So the booster is a, a third dose of the vaccine. So after six months, the, the protection from the vaccine, it starts to drop off a little bit. So we are now asking people at six months to get a third vaccine to boost their protection again. So far, I had a, a, a two vaccine yeah. needle, the first one and the second one. Now I'm going to have the booster. Yeah, and I guess it's just a reminder to your body to remember mm. how to fight that mm. the COVID-19. Will people get reminded to get the booster? Yeah, so mm. your clinic mm. will put a reminder on, on your uh, file so that they can remind you when it's time to get mm. the third dose. Uh, Charlie, just a quick one, I'm going to ask you about, um, about masks, especially when you have grand final or something, you know, um, footy activity going on. I think people need to understand Everybody will use that mask to enter that towards that footy game because otherwise, the people will go go in with that mask. There'll be risk, you know. So the rule is, if you if you're told to wear a mask, you must wear a mask. Don't not wear the mask. It is so important to wear it. And if you're unsure, or if there's any more questions, or if anybody has any questions, they should go to their clinic and talk to the experts yes. at their clinic and someone they trust, a health worker at the mm. clinic. So there's lots of information going around. It's not all good to listen to. The information you do need to know is the one thing that can stop COVID-19 is the vaccination. Get vaccinated, please. Time is ticking. We can't wait. But it's going to hit any time. Mm. And we lose many, many of our family very sick in the ICU. 
maybe um, most of them will die. So this is something that we're going to look forward and fight for our journey. I think in the strong women, strong women, Eka, Regretta, powerful, Paris, Ngara. Charlie, thanks for having us here today, uh, and Jane, thanks for being here. Thanks very much. Well, ma, well, I would like to say Bobo, and I uh, appreciate that, um, you know, I've got a clear message so I can go back and talk to my people, you know, in, in, in the community, because I, what worries me is because we've got, uh, we've got a big population there, so. I reckon that's really good, you know, message that we got from Charlie King. Yeah, you know, and that, that was really good. I appreciate it.